greatest story ever told. Presented by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Tonight we present The Lost Sheep, a drama of repentance and forgiveness based on a teaching from the greatest life ever lived. Our scene is a hillside just beyond Jerusalem where a crowd is gathered to hear the master teach. There are several men there who have not come to learn, only to observe and to criticize. Two such men look around, and then one says, Yes, Micah, it's true what we heard. You can see them, you can pick them out. Then shall this be allowed to continue, Amos? Whoever it was that said there are more sinners at the Master's feet than there are in the jail of Jerusalem was right. What are you going to do about it? Come, a little closer to the Master. We'll ask him a thing or two. Hmm. Can asking do it, Amos? If we confront him with the fact that among his followers there are sinners, he may drive them out. If he does that, he'll have lost this reputation he has for kindness and love for all people. Come along. We'll talk to Peter, one of his followers. Peter? Peter? You call me friend? Can I help you? Yes, Peter. I'm a man greatly distressed. I'd like to follow the master. But there's one thing that stands in my way. Well, if you explain, I may be able to help. Well, Peter, I've lived in Jerusalem a long time. I know many people. That man there, for instance, his name is Benjamin. The last time I saw him, he was being taken from the court to carry out a sentence for thievery. I don't know the man, but it's possible. And there are others here that I recognize with records equally as bad. How can I follow a teacher who receives sinners? Would I not be losing stature by mixing with them? The master can ease your mind about that. Come. Come, Mike. Just the opportunity we've been waiting for. Master, there's a man among us who would ask you a question. Amos, speak to the master. Master? You say you teach the word of God. Now, that may be, but um, if so, is it fit that you should teach to sinners? Oh, yes, there are sinners here in our midst, but you do not drive them away. You who teach of good things in God, why do you associate with sinners? Uh, well, Master, can't you answer? Please, Amos. The Master's thinking about your question. Perhaps even now he's phrasing in his mind a parable which may help you to understand. (laughs) Or perhaps he's trying to act as though he didn't hear me. Oh, I do the same myself when I don't want to answer an embarrassing question. Amos, if you're going to laugh... Uh, uh, Violence, Peter. Well, uh, Master, what about your friends, the sinners? Tell him, Master. A parable. He'd understand a parable. How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? Stop playing that flute now. I'm sorry, Elisha. But at night when we're out here in the fields, there isn't much else to do. Well, you should have thought of that before you apprenticed yourself to a shepherd. You wouldn't even be here if my brother hadn't... Oh, never mind. 
back to playing on that flute if you have to. Elijah. Yes? I don't like to ask, but... Every time you begin to talk about your brother, you never finish what you're saying. So? Why? If you showed as much interest in the sheep as you do in trying to find out about my brother, I'd have more faith in you as a shepherd. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know. Well, you won't. Now, if you insist on making some kind of noise, play that flute. But don't talk. I'm sorry. Shh, quiet, Tophet, quiet. Tophet growls as always something wrong. Prowlers, even foxes. It's nothing, just a sound in the night. Maybe I'd better put out the fire. It's safer in the dark. There's nothing to be afraid of, I tell you. Now, sit there, quietly. Yes, Elijah. When I look up at those stars, I, I think to myself... David once saw those same stars as a shepherd boy, and he grew to be king of Israel. I wonder what it's like to be a king. Well, that was in other days. Now only Romans are king. We'll have our own king again one day. You'll see. <laughs> and it'll be you, I suppose. Oh, not me. But it might be another shepherd boy. Why, once my father said... It is something, Elisha. Tophet, go after them. Tophet will scare them away if anything can. Yes, yeah, a good dog and trained to deal with poachers. But they might hurt him. No danger of that with Tophet. He's too smart for them. Just wait. I don't hear anything. You will. I don't hear anything yet. Yeah. There is something wrong. But he couldn't have lost them. Once he's got the scent, he doesn't lose it. Well, maybe they bribed him with a piece of fresh meat or something. No, Tophet would rather starve than take food from the hands of a stranger. I trained him that way. <laughs> Tophet, I told you to get them. By the way he's acting, you'd think he'd met a friend. <laughs> Elisha? Elisha? My mother. Mother? Is that you? Yes, Elisha. I was almost lost. If it hadn't been for Tophet, I would have been... I thought I'd never find you. Well, what are you doing here, wandering the hills at this time of night? I had to find you, Elisha. It's important. Very important. Nothing should be important enough to make you leave the cottage at night. Now rest here by the fire and tell me. In front of the boy. Well, what's to be said that can't be said in front of the boy? Please, Elisha, I know how you feel about this certain thing. Ask the boy to leave us. All right, Mother. You're him. Yes, Elisha? Uh, walk off away, out of hearing. My mother and I want to talk here by the fire. But keep a lookout. I'll be careful. You'd better be. In such darkness, a lamb or two can be lost very easily. Yes, sir, I'll be careful. I'll be close by if you want me. Well, mother, what is it? What do we have to talk about that's so secret? Elisha, you won't get angry. How do I know? You haven't even told me what it is. Oh, Mother, not that again. Before you say anything, listen to me. I won't do anything for him. If he's in trouble, he'll get out of it himself or rot in jail. He's not in trouble. Then what does he want from us? He only comes around when he's done something wrong. Elisha, listen to me. Your brother Daniel is back. What? Even now, he's in the cottage waiting for me to bring him word of what you'll say. What does he want? He only wants to live with us again. He wants a home and a chance to prove that he's able to do his share of the work now. I don't believe it. He told me, and I believe it. The answer is still no. Elisha. Mother, I'd do anything for you, but not that. I was the one who worked hard. I stayed here and took care of the flock while Daniel went off and got into all sorts of trouble. Even now, I'm sure he's escaping from the authorities. And as soon as he thinks they're not looking for him anymore, he'll go away as he's gone before. It's not right to doubt your own brother that way. I'm only measuring him by the standard he set himself. He's not to be trusted. He's a liar, a cheat, dishonest. Elisha. I'm sorry, Mother. I know how it must hurt you to realize it. But Daniel will never have the chance to make a fool of me again. Whatever he wants from now on, he'll work for. And he can start right now, but not in my fields or in my house. I want no part of him. Your fields? Your house? Your father's house? He's as much your father's son as you are. It's a good thing my father never lived to see his favorite son turn out to be a thief. You won't? Forgive. No, I won't. But if you'd only... Elijah! Elijah! That's Joram. It must be trouble. What is it, Joram? What's happened? One of the lambs. Lost. I tried to follow it, but I couldn't see. Foolish boy. 
I knew I couldn't trust him. Before you go, Elisha, say your brother can stay. No, Mother, and I can't talk to you about it any longer. I've got to find the lamb that's lost. Now, in the middle of the night? Wait till dawn, at least. You will have strayed too far by that time. I'll have to go searching for it now. Go back to the house, Mother. And have that brother of mine out of there by daylight. Please, Elisha. You heard what I said. Have him out of there by morning. Now I have to go. Jordan! Jordan! Where are you? I told you to be careful, you little fool. Elijah, I said I'm sorry. Well, enough talk. Stick to the count. I tell you, one of the lambs is lost. Why count? Because at night, the moon on this hill plays tricks. Sometimes the shadow looks like a lamb. And what you thought you saw straying off may well have been nothing. What's the count so far? Eighty-eight. Now, keep a sharp watch, and I'll single them out and keep the count. Eighty-nine. Bad. Get over there. Go on. Ninety. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. Ninety-three. Bad. That's right, Tophet. Get him in line. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. And you see, there are only three left. That makes ninety-nine. I told you one was missing. All right, so you told me. If you'd been less busy telling me and more vigilant with the sheep, this wouldn't have happened. What are you going to do now? What can I do? Go look for it. Oh. Well, uh, I could go. <laughs> and who'd find you when you got lost? No, you stay with the flock and I'll go. You're not afraid? Oh, I- I'd be afraid. No, I'm not afraid. What well, can be dangerous up in the hills at night? Pits to fall into, branches to trip over. You've still got 99 sheep. Why risk your life for one little lamb? Because it's my work. A shepherd can't allow a lamb to stray out there alone in the night. And if you've ever heard the cry of a lost lamb, you know it's the sorriest sound in the world. No shepherd worthy of his bread and broth would let that happen. I'll go and take Topher along with me. You watch the others and make sure no more are lost. All for one lamb. It doesn't make sense. It makes sense to me. Now stay here and be more careful. Tophet. <laughs> Joram, if I'm not back by dawn, take the flock down to the cottage. I'll meet you there. But be careful. That you, Mama? Yes, Daniel. Well, you spoke to Elisha? Please, Daniel. You have to understand your brother. Being a shepherd and having so much time to himself, he broods a great deal. And in his mind, he makes things seem worse than they really are. You're trying to tell me that he said no. He might change his mind. I know Elisha too well for that. Daniel... Maybe I'd better leave. What's the use? You don't have to leave till dawn. Why not sleep here tonight? And in the morning, I'll fix you a hot meal and you'll go refreshed and strong. Stay the night, please. Could I sleep here? Could I rest, knowing how my own brother feels about me? Stay for my sake. Please, Daniel. All right, Mother. Till morning. You can sleep on the same lambskins your father selected for you when you were a boy. They're still soft and warm, son. Mama, Mama, you're so good to me. Better than I ever deserved. To think of all the trouble I've caused you, the shame. Now, now, it was nothing. Oh, I know how it must have hurt you for everyone to know about me. And you defended me. I know you did. And why not? Because, because I'm no good. No good. Daniel, you just made a mistake. If you were no good, you'd have gone on making mistakes, but you didn't. You came back. You've changed. I can see it. So don't tell me you're no good. I know better. And now you'll get some sleep. And in the morning, you'll go elsewhere. You'll find a place where you can live a good life. Don't worry, Daniel. I have faith in you. My father, he had faith, 
too. Remember, Mama, when he used to make Elisha and me stand before him? And he put his hands on our heads and said, These are the two pillars of my house. On them it rests. And now... Now there's only one pillar. Only one, Mama. Please, Daniel, some sleep. You need that most of all now. It doesn't make sense to call out to a lost lamb as you would to a man, but how else can you make them know you're near? Come on, a little further. Well, Tophet, did you pick up the scent of that lamb? Come on, try. Try. Do you get it, boy? Do you? Good. Go on. Lead the way. Go, Tophet, go. Good boy, Tophet, you found him. Now, if I can get through these bushes and this underbrush... He passed him, Tophet. Ah, there he is. And now, Tophet, don't scare him any more than he's scared already. Come now. Ah, you don't have to be afraid of me. Come on. Oh, I see now. You're caught on the brambles. Easy now. There. There, you're free. Tophet. His little heart is beating as hard as a blacksmith blows. No, no, no. Nothing to be afraid of. You're safe now. Come. Up you go. Over my shoulders. There. That's right. Good boy, Tophet. You found him. Good boy. Now, let's go back. Home, boy. Home. Better eat more, Daniel. It may have to last you all day. And all the time you keep your eye on the door. You're afraid Elisha will return. He said to get me out by daybreak, didn't he? Please, Daniel, don't make it any more difficult than it already is. Eat. Oh, Elisha. Let him come in. I'm not afraid of him. Please, no harsh words between you and your brother. Come in, Elisha. Come in. Joram. You? Where's Elisha? Please, Judith, don't be angry with me. I didn't mean to lose the lamb. It just happened. Didn't Elisha find it? Where is he? I'm afraid something awful must have happened. He didn't come back. He told me to meet him here with the flock by dawn, and he's not here. He was supposed to be back this morning? Yes. He said to meet him here. So I'm I'm sure something's happened. Wandering the hills in the dark of night, I warned him. Daniel, what do we do? Do? We'll have to find him. Well, you know where. Well, it's been a long time since I roamed these hills, but not so long that I've forgotten my way. I'll go looking for oh, him. Oh, find him, Daniel, please. You must. Of course, Mama. I'll do my best. You're a good son. And a good brother. <laughs> Elisha, where are you? Can you hear me? 
talk about that later. Let me help you. Let me get you home. Mother's worried. Help from you? I don't want your help. Oh, don't be a fool, Elisha. Here. Here, let me help you. Is this the, the lamb you went searching for? That's the one. Oh. You're just like father in that respect, Elisha. No lamb was ever allowed to suffer. But come, I'll, I'll get you home. Mother will be glad to see you. Here, let me help you up. Sleeping in there, Daniel. Yes, he's hurt. But I've seen men recover from worse. Yes, where I've been, I've seen everything. And now you're leaving again? Oh, there wouldn't be any peace for you if I stayed, Mama. You know Elisha. And maybe he's right. Maybe I have no right to come back and expect decent treatment from him. So I'd... I'd better go before he wakes. If you have to go, go in peace, my son. And let me know everywhere you go. Someday, well, someday things might change. Oh, Daniel. Mama, please. Mother. Elisha's calling. Go to him. He needs you now. But wait. No, Mama. Go to him. You'll hear from me someday. I promise. Goodbye. Mama? Mother? Yes, Elisha, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mother, I was just... Elisha, please lie still. You need rest now. His voice. I, I heard Daniel's voice. Please. He's gone now. You mean he's left? I did as you said, Elisha. Well, then, 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 then you must get him back. Elisha. Did I hear right? Did you say to bring him back? Yes, Mother. While I was lying here in pain, I had a chance to think. And I thought differently than I ever have before. Oh, Elisha. Last night in the darkness and the danger, I went seeking the lamb that was lost. I left the 99 that was safe and endangered my life for one that it strayed. I, I almost died to recover it. Yet when I found it, it meant more to me than all the others. So I thought, couldn't I do as much for my own brother? Oh, Elisha. You can't know what it means to have my two sons together again. The two pillars of my house even as your father said. Go. Find him. Tell him that today you and I have recovered not one lost lamb, but two. Go, mother. Go find my brother. <laughs> Well, Amos, there's 
the master's parable any meaning for you? Can't you speak? Uh, Peter, it's, it's not easy for a man to, to say that he's been wrong. It's not difficult if a man is honest and humble. Then I think I've been neither, because I am wrong. I know what the master sought to tell me in his parable. And I know now why he welcomes sinners who have ceased to sin. For how else shall they change their ways if we don't help them and give them a chance to change? Master? Master, I've been wrong. These sinners, they are as the lost land. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons who need no repentance. program was brought to you by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Next week on this same network at this time, we'll present As Ye Would That Men Should Do to You, another episode in the greatest story ever told from the greatest life ever lived. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.